Hello YouTube, this is Ashen Ninja and I am welcoming you to another episode of Grom Brindle Goes to Dallas and Does Things. I had something really dirty I could have said there, but it's probably best I don't really. Probably for the best, for the kids, for the kids that won't watch this. Uh, so, we've gone through our, our last turn, um, well I've gone through the end turn. Uh, over the end turn, we lost more time because we didn't really have much of a garrison there. Um, but that's okay. Um, soon we will have our revenge, so uh, that's fine. Because we have yes. Thorgrim of the Grudge Bearer type heading this way, and we'll jump him over to Mom. Essen right now. So, him over in Essen means uh, next turn. Mordheim will be mine again. Grom Brindle will have his army back up to strength. Then the two of them can go have a party out at Beckhofen. Uh, now, let's see. You. What were you doing? Uh, you've got a Thane, do you? He's a Thane. Yep. He's a Thane. You've got a Thane. Uh, what have we been putting stuff into for you? Assassinate. So, a bit of an assassin. So in that case, let's see if we can do that. We've got quite a bit of income. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good way to start. Oh well. Oh well. It's all right. It's okay. All righty. Uh, construction. Construction. Oh, we'll go for gem cutters. I think that'll be good. More money. More, more money. Building wise, I'm not worrying about walls getting bigger yet. Uh, the stockpile of money can get bigger though. That always be improved. Especially when you're a dwarf. Uh, let's just do upkeep minus 5% for rangers, public order 10, 100 beer kegs. Yeah, why not? Throw that in there. Um, yeah, you're all looking pretty good. Don't need any lords at the moment. We've got our maximum amount of master engineers. He needs some more troops, I think. What can the ru vengeful rune lord have? No, 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 no. A couple more of those. You'd have a massive amount of artillery then. Hmm. <laughs> really don't know why they're so expensive. They're really just not that good. But iron breakers, on the other hand, are freaking amazing. Yeah, I don't even know why the giant why a giant slay is more expensive than hammers. I've never been able to work that out. Uh, for now, we'll chuck. Yeah, we'll go for a couple of home breakers into a story stone heart, and we'll keep a grudging. Uh, what have we got here? So. Ashrak's lair, that's on minus five. You're on plus two now, that's good. On minus five despite... Ah, oh, high levels of corruption. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right, since they are so far down the south, I will put in more walls there, because I am making a buttload of cash every turn, so I may as well spend some of it. I was sending an army down here, but where the frig have I left? Has it gone? Oh, yep, there it is, Our down in Death Gorge. Right. Now, am I actually at war with Clan Moors? I'm uh, currently not. Okay, that's alright. We'll stay that way for the moment. I am at war with them. Maybe I should go see what's happening out this way then. Sounds exciting. Probably isn't. Uh, 
Yep. They don't like me for reasons that are inexplicable to me, really. They should like me. But they don't. One rug. These guys are Come way too me. powerful for my comfort. But whatever. I stand Clan Angren. We should... We really Belegar. should confederate. Because then you get exactly what you want. So. Karakate Peaks. But anyway... Um, I'm digressing around a lot at the moment. Oh yes, you, you have almost no strength. Oh, it seems a little odd. No. I mostly wanted to see if it would go up to even moderate with that. Because that would at least tell me whether or not they're willing to uh, consider a treaty. Oh, considering a confederate... That consider a confederation. Yeah. Um, but no, they, they aren't even willing to. They're not going to entertain it. So we will have to continue on with our battling, fighting, and generally showing our knobs to people in the north for the moment. Uh, at some stage, I'll probably have to get a fourth army. And join the oh no, it'll be fifth army. Oh. Um, and join our friend down south and see if we can uh, uh military access and see if we can uh do some more conquering down there. Oh dear, the wife's rabbit's gone off into sleepy by land. Assault garrison success. Good work. Good work, yeah. I'm glad you could successfully assault my garrison. You filthy undead bastard. That's right. Next turn we'll take it to them. Big stick diplomacy. Burn their houses down. Wandering about the place in a fairly aimless, pointless manoeuvre. I wish they'd just confederate with me already and get it over with. <coughs> oh yes, chaos invasions are happening of course as well, because, you know, I like to do that. Uh, let's have a look. Start with you. Yes, I know who you are. Okay, apparently I can wander further across that way than I can. Um, jump. That's fine. Uh, is an easy, pointless battle. Occupy, reoccupy Mordheim. Pick up a potion of strength. That's pretty nice. Yep, cool. Achieve victory over them. He, okay, he's already got a potion of toughness. He's got some sort of... Oh, he's got the Ruby Ring of Ruin. Might give him the potion of strength instead. I think that's a better option for him. Can I give the Ruby Ring to you? Yes. Good, good. Good, good. Alrighty. <coughs> Let's continue his trek along the underway. I'm going. <coughs> or at least out this way. Uh, Mordheim, yeah, we'll put you up a level. I don't think there's, any, no, there's no special buildings I can build there. Nothing too exciting. Uh, who are you? Level 30 Thane. Uh, we've got your full speed. Okay, we've been putting points into specialist. Yeah, we'll continue that. We'll get it into specialist. Um, assumably, it's so that he can do some assassinating. Uh, what have we 
got Master Engineers leveling up. It is good. Love me some Master Engineers. Range just do so much damage with them leveled up. It's just just ridiculous. Okay, yeah, that's that's going down, but that's still fine. Have I already gone through all this? I have, haven't I? I've got 26,000 gold. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe it is time to do some wall upgrading for these places. Stave off those rebellions for a bit longer. If they end up happening. How about you? Plus 22 happiness. Can't hurt while I've got a really nice income. Really? An ad to war. Welcome, Dowie. Since I have broken my don't have alliances with have you come to pledge me your loyalty? other races rule on this particular campaign, but I don't know. You live, you learn. What? Now, currently not at war with them. But I'd like to complete that province. So if I'm going to have the capital of the province, I'd like to be able to complete it. Otherwise it just ends up being a pain in the arse all the time. Because you'll end up with rebellions and shit. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Now, now, Manfred, what will you do? Will you battle manfully for your... With your last gasps of fetid breath? Or will you be crushed under the mighty heel of dwarven dominance? I'm going for the latter. For obvious reasons. Anyone that's voting for the former, well, you're welcome to your opinions, really. But get out. Um, huh? Oh, who said that? So, it's still good, really. Doesn't really matter. Good thing about life. Oh. Jeez, they must be playing a, uh, a Slayer campaign. There's a lot of Slayers in their armies. Uh, good thing about things like uh, Total War is because of the vast differences in your uh, various armies and uh, the way races work and everything you can uh, work quite well it, it's it's really funny because over the years I've noticed that you know you spend a lot of time fighting racism uh, especially out in the wor real world where things generally sort of matter and stuff and yet out when you're playing games, you pick a race, you devote everything to that race, and you give massive amounts of racist comments to those that disagree with you. It's quite interesting the way that works. It's almost like there's a latent racism that we that, that's desperately needing to get out or something. Oh, no, it's just fucking attritioning now. It's just silly. Let's see if we can jog back. We can't. Well, that was all a very great idea. Brought to you by me. A complete idiot. Okay, so Oaken Hammer is going up a level again. Which is nice. Thane over here. He can have some more web, uh, melee defense, which is nice. Uh, he's still recruiting, and he will be for a little while yet. Uh, a bit that more public order here it will be very handy as we continue to take that over. Uh, let's go to Silver Road and see if we can recruit any thing. Can Valaya 
Grimna, Grungni. None of those three I prefer for Leia, but man, there's just so many of these with the ancestral blood. Those ancestors have really been putting it out, haven't they? Uh, we'll, we'll stick without another runesmith for the moment. Continue with what we're going with. Hmm. Out of growth there, that's good. As of Bar, Death Past, Western Sylvania, and Ostermark. So, hopefully, that's something going up a that'll actually be able to go up a level. Uh, Get my axe! Why should I hear you speak, Zangonaz? Yeah, they want a peace treaty. They see the massive horde of dwarves coming their way, and they know they're fucked. Because the massive horde of dwarves, these they're going to go knock down your walls, come and shred you, and drive a stake through your heart. Not one of those delicious steaks, of course. No, no juicy, tender, medium rare, sirloin, delicious things. Not one of those ones. A wooden steak. Wouldn't want to waste a proper steak or anything. However, once we've killed Manfred, what we will do is we'll have a uh, juicy sirloin and a uh, glass of whiskey. He's celebrating the uh, traditional dwarven style. Yeah, see, the mistake he made there with that one is he more than likely was just one of those stacks attacking and the uh, and if they've got a decent alliance with uh, uh, Clan Angrind, they probably would have, you know, been able to destroy the army. But oh well. I like their twin exhausts. It's like a Mack truck cruising around. Alrighty. I think I even stopped myself from saying something really controversial about truck drivers. Quite proud of myself. Alright, they have an army back there. But that's not going to be too big a problem for old Grummy and Thori. With the two of them, there is extremely no like likelihood of undead winning that one. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that yet. I want to go through and level up characters and do all those little thingies first. I'm going to keep that. I want to keep all of these things. Oh, actually, where is he? He's there. We'll just go with that for now, I think. This is probably the best idea. Alrighty. Uh, not really a lot happening on the construction front. So, let's massively overpower Beckhoffen. I'm going to use my battle skills in this one. Even though it is very much uh, auto-resolvable, I still just want to actually fight it. I'd probably lose less auto-resolving, but I don't get to fight that many battles these days because I'm auto-resolving so many stuff, many things because I'm sort of running around with doom stacks a bit. So, uh, we'll do it this way instead. Does mean I'm going to cheese it, because I always do. Delicious, tasty cheese. Uh, organ guns to the fore. Along with our... Squad of heroes. Yes. Go there, and we take off auto shot. Right. Start the battle. 
Oh, that's good. We'll add them to our goon squad of heroes. You guys can come over here. So can you. I know, that's a grudging. You over here as well. Listen to the glory of the guns. Glorious. Oh, I love it. Glorious organ guns. Oh, what the hell? Alright, you three. Turn off auto shot. Ford! T turn it off, yeah. Supposed to hide back that way. I love organ guns. I just love the sound they make. There we go. That's sorted now. Let's sort out our armies a little bit here. Oh, iron breakers, and we know what to do with. You can't just go like that. Move the whole freaking lot. Because that'll be really handy. Can't have things being too handy. Now, let's move our quarrelers this way. That's good. That's excellent. We want our artillery to be ready. I'll move our artillery up a bit. Not the organ gun, so. I'm going to move the organ gun. So actually, we'll just blow a hole in the wall just there, organ guns. Oops. No, not you. You boys, just continue your movement up. So they should probably not shoot while um, I'm trying to get past them with... Um, move our quarrelers to a place where they'll be... I want to fire off their uh, little crossbows. Go bling, bling, bling at things. Massive dwarf throng we've got going on here. It's a lovely sight, really. Look at them all crowded into a corner. Barely distinguish one from another. You know, I should probably actually just speed this up a bit. No need to really stand there and watch that all happening. Getting in position there. Alright, we can go back to firing the organ guns at the wall now. Should only be one more volley. There it is. Alright, let's have a look at what the uh, grudge throwers can hit. Not a lot, really. Yeah, we'll fire down here a bit. Come on, get the throwing. Exploding projectiles are much more, much, much better, I think, when it comes to this kind of thing. A certain amount of visceral niceness to massive explosions. Alright, let's take these three. Yeah, grip them up. We'll handle them down this way. These three, you guys can group up as well. You can amble down this way as well. Let's 
And we'll throw a reserve group in as well. They can hang there. Hang back a little. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, they've taken a massive pounding. Uh, where, where are they now? Artillery, I want you now to fire. They're going to work. Uh, how about we just not worry about it? Alright, you three. Oi! Didn't I tell you all not to shoot automatically? Pretty sure I told you that. So what we're going to do is... Just because I want to maximise the shots. Alright, who's messing around here? Come on! Fingers on lips. Hands on hips. Oh, God. I'm terrible at this, aren't I? Take your targets well. Here we go. Let's get nice hordes of arrows going into the sides of the grave guard. These guys have quite high missile damage, so even heavily armoured guys and shield guys like them are going to go down a bit. Oh, they're normal grave guards, so they've got shields. That's good. Weak binding. Oh, we're going to have hex wraiths take over. Eh? That's cool. We should be able to do a fair bit of damage to them as well. Hex Wraiths. Hex are a very good target. They've got no armor and they, they do have physical resistance. This is not physical damage, it's apparently. It's um, range damage. So it tends to tear them apart rather well. Looks pretty. I'll be gone soon. And again, so will my ammo. Oh, that's looking pretty good. I think they're gone. Yep, they're gone. Let's send out even more arrows. Lots of heavily armoured guys in this garrison. There was a half damaged unit somewhere around. Maybe they their binding collapsed. Oh no, I think that might be them. I don't know. I don't think there was 17 left. Since we do have troops sitting here now, let's... Uh, Take advantage of that. I do wish you could kind of tell your your arrows roughly where they should be aiming for in a unit. They're crumbling now, so they are not long for this world. Gotta get one volley down here. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll hit those crit bulls. You always can retire for now from your shooting duties. Bring our next unit up. Grudgeon! Uh, got can race there. That's good. Fire at those crypt horrors, will you? With your ready ranged firepower? Um, oh, it's, it's sort of out a bit. It's a bit all over the place with that. Get you into ranks. Then we can, should be able to do one big hefty blast over the top. Should be able to, there we go. Just just watch that health bar drop. Yeah, they didn't like that now, did they? Vampire of Death here. May as well see how many stakes to the heart we can throw in her. Oh, we nearly got her with a uh, Crypt Ghoul. Or a... What are they? What are they? Yeah, Crypt Ghoul. Takes a lot of stakes to the heart, jeez. There we go. They didn't need her anyway. It's just overcompensation. And yeah, I am wasting a lot of ammo on the, with my, uh... What are they called? Grudge size, but I don't mind. We've got more than enough to take out this town, so... Let's get to taking out more Graveguard. thinking as well. Let's get all that moving up. And we'll pop our Iron Drakes here. Okay, fire at that unit then. They're going to be like that. There we go. That's a nice amount of death to the dead. Whatever. <laughs> got our heroes and lords. So I've got two lords, three heroes. Should be able to take out basically everything with that lot. But, you know. Uh, we have them firing. So what we'll do is we'll pop all of these boys in. if we can get some people to come fight them. Kind of hoping the flyers would, but I don't think they'll leave the, their home base. They're really all that they've got left up there. Keep, keep firing, assholes! Oh, their base 
basically gone now. Get rid of these crypt ghouls as well. Ah, we'll just bring the goon squad in. Finish off what remains of the ammo on those two units. Bring our next units up for uh, their uh, lot of free kills. Damage dealer, frenzy. I don't think any of that's going to really be a problem. They took a little bit of damage. Wonder where from. Oh, that's good. They're all out now. All right, ground goon squad, let's go. Go find some st stuff to punch. Get some donkey punching going. All right, get that one. Is it, time? it is time. Mighty Grumbrindle. Let's give you a group. Yeah, we'll group this up. Makes it easier to select them then. Fast as you're able. Time for real. Okay. Still not going to come out. You're going to hide there still. That's right. We'll get to them soon enough. Uh, once these guys are out, we'll um, start on those hex wraiths. That have conveniently popped up to come and play. Can wraiths, sorry. Not hex wraiths. Hex wraiths are on uh, pretend horses. That's right. Uh, they were nice enough to the grave guard were nice enough to move up so that they're now next to the hex the can rates. I'm gonna be making that mistake probably forever now. Fire on the there we go. We'll change that to the can rates. Like uh, we control that. No, we don't yet. Oh yeah, we do. Cool. Alright. Let's see if the Goon Squad can destroy, what are they, three Vargeists and uh, whatever the other things are, some Crypt Horrors. Crypt Horrors? Yeah. Shouldn't be too big a deal, I reckon. Hero Goon Squad. Get them, boys, get them. So you've got deadly onslaught as well. Your potion of strength. That other one is got. What's he got there? It's always an entertaining one. Uh, it's a potion of toughness. You'll be right. Oh, 
Yeah, there we go, lovely. Get a smashy, smashy. That was like the bulk of their strength right there. Goon squatted. Oh, jeez. Grum Brindle did well in the goon squad there. Six kills. As usual, the crossbowmen did what they do. Beautiful. Fight. Beautiful indeed. Let's get rid of that. I will, however, build that. And that. That's the thing we've been really wanting. Um, mm, yep, I'll keep that, will I? Mm, no, actually, I won't get rid of that. Build that so we can build walls in there. Oh, actually, no. I think I do need to keep that for the Iron Breakers, so we will actually keep that. We won't upgrade that. We'll upgrade that instead. And a commandment is now available. We're going to go for Untainted and Happiness. Beckhofen is really as far north as I want to go at this point. Though, looking at that, I am going to have to take out Kislev. Because I want to get rid of those red eyes. We are in a nice spot there now, though. Got them basically completely destroyed. Now, you are Thorgrim. Thorgrim. We were giving you Thunderer to make all of your artillery and everything stronger because we've already got things for your crossbowmen. 37, yeah, not bad, not too bad. Well, uh, Uther Grobby Nutter. You can have Rune of Negation because that's not an actual item. That's what I hate about those runes. Bloody annoying, huh? Now, what else we got? You. Oh, what do we give you now? Um, that's a constant local effect, so it's less good than it seems. It's just straight armor, that's only his range, that's his speed. Hmm. That's no, really not that useful. Don't really worry about his leadership. Oh, well, boosted income it is. It's not a lot, but every uh, every gold coin matters. Uh, Joseph Ironbeard, uh, yep. wound maker for you. Gain some more dwarf beer. That makes everybody a little bit happier. Uh, where is our Harrick Ironbeard? I think it is down here, yeah. So let's pop him back across the border. Drop him into a camp stance. Have to work out how we're gonna go about Lamia. Huh. Okay, didn't realize I had a wounded character. That makes me very sad. I'm gonna cry now. It's quite upsetting. I feel a heaviness in my chest. <laughs> no, 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 it's just gas. Never Ready. mind. Uh, no. Come on, Karakazu. Big money, big money. Oh, no. Barakvar, you oh. know you. No, nah, okay, fine. I suppose they are still strength rank 5. So who are 1 and 2, I wonder? So I'm 3. I mean, that's all that really matters. But I don't know who 1 and 2 are. I'm the strongest of those I know. Oh, well. Probably High Elves. 
dark elves, things like that. Uh, yep, yep, yep. All right. Foolish mortal. <laughs> okay, so it seems they're going to have some chaos problems up there. I still have some undead problems over here. But we'll go and trash Savastra next turn. Should be nice and easily auto resolved, I reckon. We can go back to punching the red eye in the brown eye. Helman Gorst. Helman Velman Gorst. Velma. Yeah, the Thorgrim, Two Thanes, and Runesmith uh, Goon Squad does the job rather nicely. I think even that sliver of the chance the auto resolve gave them was a bit optimistic. But, you know. Could have probably just tried to send the good squad in, try to gather everything up, and then just artillery it down, burn it down, and shoot it down while the goon squad stood in the middle. But, hmm. I don't like the risks involved in stuff like that. I am a bit cautious at times with these sorts of things. Alright, Thorgrim, I'm going to send you first to Zavastra. You can take it. Or burn it down, I should say. Because we're not actually going to take it, I think. Uh, sack it, actually. Just because. And we'll quickly pop back across the border. They've taken Castle von Raukin now as well. And Wolfenberg. Uh, So they're sort of trying to establish themselves up here as they flee. So that is a bit of bit of an issue, but not a huge one. One more turn and he'll be ready ready to rock. Uh, Walden Hoff, you can have those two things, and we will also give you got a happiness building, but I don't think it's really enough at the moment. So we'll give you another one. Uh, Ostermark. Ah, beautiful. So we now have pottery. And I will demonstrate the goodness of pottery right now. So what we do is we go down here and we go to um, enchanted items instead of talismans. Very important, that. Um, you've got to do that first. Now what we want is this one. Passive ability, liquid fortification, immunopsychology. We don't care about the immunopsychology. What we want is... <gasps> replenishing hit points to combatants. Because that is awesome. Iron Warden's Tinkered. Right, now we go down and we go... Oh, yep. Yeah, what do we have? Ooh, I don't know. Let's see, there's a thing like that, and there's a thing like that, and ooh, yeah, you know what I'll do? Oh, I'm going to get this uh, Iron Warden's Tankard. Yeah. So, yeah, mm, look at that. It's lovely. And, uh, and again. All my general's going to get this, and I'm going to try and give it to my... Heroes as well. I can't remember if I can or not. Um, because this is freaking awesome. Like, awesome as my Goon Squad currently is. Goon Squad with the ability to 
uh, regenerate is just stupid. Just stupid good. So, where are we? And this will be the last one I can afford for the moment. But I got a lot, so. Rightio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them. Lovely. Uh, you need a. To get rid of that, you can have Iron Warden's tank. Lovely. Uh, before we give one to you, let's go with the Lords first. Just to make sure we don't run out. Clean, yep, Master Engineer, yep. Rune Lord up here, you get one. You get one. I think that's all of my lords now. Okay, good. So all the lords have them. Uh, you definitely need one. And I think... The dwarfs need me. How can I help? It is time. His thing could definitely do with one, because those two are going to be essentially my main line. You know who for I those am. two armies. He is a backup, but let's face it, that's better. He probably doesn't really need one, and I think I'm out of them anyway now. So we'll give him Fireball instead. Beautiful. That, oh, that actually looks really good. Iron will. Let's see. What do we have for you now? You can have a Potion of Toughness. You don't really need Potion of Strength, so I'm not going to give it to you. So you and your little, your soon-to-be goon squad can have a Potion of Strength. So that looks pretty good. Lord of Clan Almost no Oath God left, but that's fine. I still get a massive income of 17,000 a turn. Gonna go to war with them probably pretty soon. Take a quick look at the old ticker of how good they are at stuff. Who they're in. Okay, they are allies of my current enemy, so that's fine. No problem with that. Right. There we have it. That's uh definitely that's all on the way up there. Until chaos comes when I probably completely fuck up fighting chaos. Alrighty, so after that we've managed to push the undeads back even further. And uh, next time, we'll be trying to wipe them out. I'm just going to be raising along here. There's no point in trying to take that land, I don't think. I don't want it. Don't need it. And my, in the end, my goal is actually this land. But we need to get rid of those vampires. I don't want the uh, foul chaos bloods stealing all of that shit. So we're going to try and let the uh, empire take it. But that's, uh, that's the end of the episode for today. Uh, we managed to at least have a decent sized battle. And uh, next time there's going to be a lot more fighting going on. Uh, we'll be back at war with the filthy orcs and that very, very soon. So uh, please, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, do the usual like, subscribe, whatever thing. And uh, hopefully I'll get to uh, be talking at you again soon. Goodbye for now.